Lagos, for instance, generates about 13,000 metric tons of waste daily. Canals are clogged with non-degradable materials such as plastics and nylons, constituting great dangers to the environment. The search for solutions to these challenges may have driven 22-year-old Emeka Nelson, who once scavenged dump sites in Anambra to invent a machine that could turn these waste into oil that could be broken down further for domestic and commercial uses. The Umbawe C12, which means a transformer in the local language, Igbo. Um, I did this one. This one was actually completed um, early last year. He claims the Umbawe C12 is a machine that converts non-biodegradable waste like plastic, waterproof, nylon, and more into a crude-like refinable oil. Now, the first stage, what I actually need to do on this machine is feed all the waste you need into this. This is a reactor. Is that what, that's what I, now, when you fed it, you must have fed it here, you close it. Then here, it's a set on this one. Here, we all have the oven. This, yes, is oven. Okay. But this kind of oven, although we use charcoal here, I will be able to kind of get something like about 500 to 3,000 degrees from this thing. After about 13 minutes, the oil collects over the water. Um, as you can see, this is a uh, pure example of the oil we are talking about. This he then gathers into a container. And to prove its flammable property, a mecca strikes a match. But because it's a, still a complex mixture, it just burns gradually like this. Now, those ways that are not converted to foil is not the one that we use to mold interlocking stones. But in some cases, the machine turns everything into foil. Okay. But in that case, that we don't turn all of them to foil, now those wastes, instead of me kind of discarding to the environment again, causing a lot of problem, now use it to mold interlock. Emeka, who attended primary school in the neighborhood, has always been self-motivated and always eager to solve problems in spite of his poor background. He is motivated from within. It's not like somebody is telling him to do all this. So what he needs now is support. I think he has more to offer than this. He is also working on a hydropower generator, which when successfully scaled up would eliminate effect of bad fumes on our environment. This of this particular machine here. Okay. Just this kind of I just did on experimental point. It's working. Currently, this generator can produce up to 660 watts of electricity, and the maker hopes to scale it up further to a more reasonable amount. Chris Alams. Channels Television News.